always fill the glass because you just refill it anyway. So what the All right, boys, let's do a shot, and we're going to introduce everyone here to Pat. Oh. Right, Pat? Yes, yeah. With the just sweet, can't say with the sweet, uh, with the sweet, they'll break the can. Um, goat. Sweat. Oh, she calls. <laughs> sorry. It's a good friend call. Cheers. 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 Yeah, cheers. Please, Navidadi. Oh, yeah, that, all that good stuff. Now, Pat? Mm. Yeah. So, so this is a little segment I call Tell Us Your Best Story. And I looked at you. Yeah. You can come over here, y'all. It's can, okay. I'm you a, can hang. I have my sh my 50 minutes. Now it's his. I feel like you might I gotta have fuck a good around story, but you kind of, we might have to dig yeah, at it yeah, because, yeah. guys, I just it's sprung close. this on him. Yeah. I was like, hey, I got a show called Tell Us Your Best Story. And then immediately what happens is you have to rifle through your stories and try to find the best one, which is kind of impossible to do. But let, let's just start slow. Maybe a, a story will come to mind. First of all, you were here when Yoli had his fingers chopped off. Yes, I so drove up right person. when he was walking in the days down out the driveway with his hand up, and I got a chair now, for him Was it said, sit down. Was it... Um, uh, What's that? He had a towel on it. So okay, it so it wasn't, it wasn't like uh, no. the comedy shows where it's... No, so the, and then the first thing I thought, well, we got to go find the pieces because I can sew them on. And there's no pieces. And I come in here and it's just like, there's not a chance in hell. It's a giant planer yeah. that's going 50,000 miles an hour. Mm. And uh, now the kids, uh, I called the ambulance. The ambulance came. Katie, his wife, just showed up. And she was in shock and... I pushed her into the ambulance with him. What about the kids? And it's like, uh, well, I'll take care of the kids. So I'm coming to get the kids and they're kind of in shock and like, you know, and said, well, okay, we gotta get on this. Look at the blood all over the house in the driveway and the shop. Well guys, okay, I've done two of these stories already oh. and, and they've already had, they've had okay, violence well, in them. Oh. And so I just want everyone to know not every one of these stories are going this to have is a good one. blood and violence. So at any rate, the kids, we start cleaning up, mopping up the blood spatter. So it's nice when daddy gets home, I sure. told them. Yeah. <laughs> and But we came over to this map right behind you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he showed us where the blood splatters are. The blood splatters are. And I circled all, we circled all those. Said, well, that's where I guess y'all got to go on vacations. I, I think and, uh, that's probably a good idea to go on the vacations where the blood, where the blood There's one in so. Siberia. They haven't been yet. But anyway, that was a day in the life for So that's how, my that's how this kind of happened. I came in and got the story from Yoli. And then I saw Pat here, and I saw this amazing... First of all, just quickly tell us the story of this. Like, how? where did you find this? It was passed down three generations. You're kidding me. You didn't just find this at a resale shop? No. This has been in your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get somebody to work on it every year or two. Now, I have an artist friend part. named Daria, Daria Kadapashuru, and look her up if you if you want some real awesome goat I'd have to learn to say it pictures. first. Yeah, I kind of need to learn to say it too, to be honest. But anyway, she does amazing goat art, and I think she would appreciate this um, this beautiful goat. Where does she live? <laughs> California. We'll drive oh. over there after this. Do you, so do you have any stories that... Um, just popped to mind of uh, something that's happened to you. Okay, right? somebody was trying to break into my warehouse. I lived in Chinatown. Well, Houston Studios downtown by Last Concert Cafe. And I got home from a movie. I worked in the movie business 40 years. TV commercials and movies. And, and right, what, just got what, out. Okay, I'll break in on you real quick. Okay. What did you do? You were behind the camera? In behind the camera. I was doing lighting and, and camera rigging. For, t for so I'd TV rig shows, big cameras to commercials and all this. Yeah, big cameras to fast moving trains, planes, and cars, and helicopters, and uh, nice. anyway, dollies and cranes, and um, so you did some lighting as well. Um, so you had a so so there's um, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we need to do another shot. Yes, we do. Do, do your shot, and then we'll come back. You had a studio that got broken into down. Oh, so town. when I got back from a movie, it may have been Firestarter, so that was like 12 weeks in North Carolina. And I came back home to my warehouse on the second floor in Houston Studios. There are two four by eight pieces of plywood as my front doors. Anyway, I get home, like, great to be home. 
got a shower, I was about to go out, see some friends, and somebody just know that I'd already gone out and gotten seen some friends. Got home and all of a sudden about to go to bed and the doors started crashing in. Mm -hmm. And so, Full of oh shit, uh, somebody's been waiting for me to come back in town or something. And uh, uh, at any rate, there's a mop. I don't have any weapons, so there's a mop that goes like, <laughs> one of those. And so I go grab it. Sound it. Like a show. I down next to the door and go, <laughs> and all of a sudden these two people are running down the hallway and out the building. Are you serious? It worked. It worked. That is that's a truly great story. Go ahead and answer. I'm going to grab some of this. Okay. Here. Hi. I'm going to do one more quick shot. Hello. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know no, what was going to happen, but that's great. He chased the bad guys away with a mop. Um, uh, what was your message? I'm sorry. All right, everybody, we're going to let him continue this story, his conversation. This has been Tell Us yeah. Your Best Story. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. No, I can come. I was just uh, I'm being interviewed for a national film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>